Thank you for tuning in to Arabian News Network Student Produced Newscast. I'm Robert Tucker. Let's get into our top story. February is the month of teen domestic violence. Students, do you know the signs of an unhealthy relationship? Here's Ram Spiracy. Domestic violence is a major problem happening in many high schools across the country where nearly 1.5 million students get physically abused. Do you know the signs of an unhealthy relationship? And if so, would you tell someone? Some signs of an unhealthy relationship would be like bruise marks and them getting like distant and quiet and not hanging around as much. No, but I probably won't like tell anybody if she doesn't feel comfortable with it, but I'll try to talk to her and go talk to the boy like, stop. No, not really because if I see somebody getting hit, that ain't none of my business. And if I do tell somebody, they just gonna laugh. Students should never be afraid to tell an authoritative figure. Here's a word from one of our beloved counselors, Miss Teague. We want all students at Arabia Mountain High School to know that the counseling department is a safe place. Students, if you know anyone that is in an abusive relationship or you yourself are in an abusive relationship, please go get help and tell someone. My name is Crystal Taylor and I'm reporting for Arabia Mountain News Network. OMG, you guys are the cutest couple I know. So, how does he treat you? I treat Nayel the best I can. I try to do everything for her, and I like her personality the best. Yeah, so I do. How does Chase treat you, and what do you like most about him? Um, he, he gets me things that I um, want. Um, his his passion for me. Why would you tell him I hit you? I didn't know what to like, say. What wrong with why would you tell them that? I didn't know what to say. Roughly 1.5 million high school boys and girls in the U.S. admit to being intentionally hit or physically harmed in the last year by someone they are romantically in love with. If you or anyone is being abused, call 1-866-331-9474. Now for this week's teacher feature. This week's teacher feature goes to Coach Eric Hoxie. Uh, yeah, I'm Coach Hoxie, kid baseball coach, uh, softball coach. And Before coming to Arabia, Coach Hoxie attended a university in Alabama. Uh, I graduated from um, Jerry Canal State uh, in Alabama. Uh, my major was health and physics. Coach Hoxie has been a member of Arabia Mountain faculty for quite some time. Um, since it opened in 2009 to the present day. Coach Hoxie has had a pleasant experience here at Arabia. Uh, here at Arabia, it's been great. It's been um, fulfilling. Um, not too many um, bad um, times here, but a whole lot of good times here. We'll be right back after this commercial. Our Rams can hit the books and hustle at the same time. Let's see who's on their grind in the Ram Hall of Fame. I'm Trinity Saylor with Harrison Cosby from Ram Hall of Fame presenting you, a photographer here at Arabia. What's up? My name is Harrison Cosby. I'm in 11th grade here at Arabia Mountain High School and I'm a photographer. How did you get into photography? My mom told me that I took a lot of pictures and that I should take it seriously. So we just went out one day and bought a camera and I got good with it. How long have you been taking pictures? I've been taking them all my life, but I just got serious about it over the summer. 
Before we close, how can we contact you to book a session? My Instagram is Mr.201 underscore. You can DM me, and all my work is on my Instagram. It's time for Student my Spotlight. My name is Chu, and I am reporting for the Arabian Mountain News Network. Can you please introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Timmy Tade Shola, and I am a senior at Arabian Mountain High School. Along with Talker, Timmy Tade is very much active around the school. I'm a part of Ladies of Distinction. I am also on the fashion show, and I'm also on the soccer team, and I'm also trying out for the talent show. These are some of the highlights of Timmy Tade's 2018-2019 school um, year. Homecoming week was great. Also, finding out graduation day because I'm ready to graduate, and I'm looking forward to prom. Why do you think you've been chosen for this week's Student Spotlight? Because I am a dedicated student, I make straight A's, and I'm involved in many activities at the school. This has been your Tier Street with the Student Spotlight for the Arabian Mountain News Network. Now for Ram Sports. Did you know that DeKalb County produces more major athletic players than any other county in Georgia? Here's a look at AMHS Signing Day 2019. The 2019 Arabian Mountain High School National Signing Day was a success. We are here at the 2019 National Signing Day and I'm here with... Coach Pritchett. All right, so Coach Pritchett, how does it feel to see your players going ahead and excelling to the next level? It's awesome. So see these young men come in as ninth graders with the small boys and see them grow up in four years and become young men. It's an awesome experience and this is one of the reasons why I enjoy you know, coaching and being able to mentor young men. So when you look at the way that the team has progressed throughout the years since you've been here, how have you implemented your NFL styles to Arabian Mountain High School's football team? Well, when I first got here, you know, no, no tradition. Uh, we were a new school. Um, a lot of kids just, you know, are here for academics, but, you know, we brought, we brought another, you know, another swag to the, to the program, um, you, know, that, you know, that we can play, you know, play football, we can play other sports, basketball, baseball, and, um, you know, we just want to bring that kind of, you know, swag to the whole athletic program, and, um, I just, I just, you know, it's giving me a tremendous honor to be a part of this program. We got a chance to look at some of the players in their final decisions. Reggie, who are you signing to? Uh, the Greens College. All right, so can you tell me a little bit about the recruiting process? Uh, the recruiting process is requires mainly it's on you. You have to be very social with your coaches, and you have to go out there and see where you need to be and where you fit in. So why did, what was the decision in choosing LaGrange? Well, for LaGrange, for me, it was because I had family down there, and plus as what I want to be for as my career as I'm engineering. Which is I have a dual degree with Georgia Tech, so if I go there, I can get a dual degree with Georgia Tech and still be able to agree. Before we go, here's a final thought from our beloved principal, Dr. Swanson. testing coming up on January 12th study guides were sent out to all parents for those students who are taking end of course tests those tests will start on April 23rd the expectation is that you'll do your very best on those tests so please make sure you pull those study guides look at them make sure you look at the blueprint as well that was sent to you to make sure that you're totally prepared for the test because all of us are going to be level three and level four learners as we approach the end of the school year Continue to do the right thing, continue to be in place, continue to make sure that you're doing your very best every day. Love you, Ram Nation. Thank you for tuning in to Arabia News Network Student Produced Newscast. Here at Arabia, we are raising academically motivated students. I am Robert Tucker. We will see you next time.